Hi Pisces, I'm here for another reading for you today. As always, it's not personal, but if you would like a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one personal session with me, which is 30 minutes to an hour of a personal reading, intuitive channeling, and spiritual coaching, or an Akashic record session, check out the box below. It has my website, 144bluerosetemple.com. It also has my email. Thank you for all of your love and thank you for all of your support. If my energy or my readings resonate with you, feel free to subscribe and click on that notification bell so you can know when the next reading does come out. We're going to get right to your reading today, Pisces. And I don't know why I feel a love reading coming in. Okay. Visionary came out right away when I sat down. I felt a love reading. Okay. So for some of you... Um, Let's see what this is. Divine Mother and Father. The only colors I'm seeing right now are light pink, light green, a lot of the Eros energy. What do we have for Pisces today? There goes Divine Masculine. Okay. What do we have for Pisces today for their highest good and for the highest good of all? Why Divine Masculine? Why Divine Masculine? And kindness and nurture. Yeah. This forgiveness over here. There's forgiveness over here in a love connection. End of a cycle. Okay, someone's going to be asking for your forgiveness. Kindness and nurturing. Divine masculine and forgive. Okay, definitely, I mean, masculine, feminine energy, doesn't matter if you're male or female. There's some sort of understanding here, okay? There is going to be a need to forgive in this connection. Let's see what that is. For divine masculine kindness and nurturing and forgive, what do we have? I'm getting the energy of a masculine that almost like doesn't know what to do with the feminine energy that he feels. And so this masculine met a divine feminine. And this divine feminine has opened parts of him. I'm getting spiritually, like, you know, it could, yeah, I'm getting spiritually. Like, the, this is the soul contract. I'm gonna grab one more card from that deck. This is the soul contract that this divine feminine is supposed to, I, I see like poking holes in someone and it almost like opens them up, okay, to things it is that they needed to open up to. What I'm getting is like a masculine energy that's going through a big awakening. Ooh sensitivity king neptune okay a masculine energy is going through a big awakening and feeling very sensitive because that's the exact energy i'm feeling is a man or a ma someone who's used to being in masculine energy could be a woman and is all of a sudden feeling all these things that are beyond logic why because it's feeling they feel something you it's beyond logic the way that you feel things sacred marriage mary magdalene okay so this masculine is going through a feminine awakening. This masculine met this divine feminine because she was meant to kind of open him up in different places. And what I'm getting is like a masculine that does feel something, but doesn't quite know exactly what they feel. And I feel them distracting themselves in different activities and friends and this and that to kind of distract them themselves. Um, they feel like they're being distracted, but they're not actually... They feel like they're being distracted, but that's because there's much more feminine energy than they're necessarily used to. And so they don't know what to do with it, you know, because the feminine energy is the unknown. It is the void. There is no explaining it. And so this divine masculine is feeling a lot of different things that they don't know what to do with it. However, there's going to be a need for forgiveness. Um, I do feel this masculine being overwhelmed by these emotions and these feelings and these energies. I feel the energy of someone who kind of wants to run away a little bit. Okay, let's see what this is. You do have door to romance on the bottom of this deck too. Okay, Pisces, so definitely a love reading. It's in every deck so far. It's almost like someone feeling sorry that like they can't figure it out. You know, like it's not you, it's me. I'm, I'm so sorry. This person feels a lot but they don't feel like they're ready. Man holding a heart. This person feels a lot here, but they don't feel like they're ready. And so that's why like they're distracting themselves. They're, it's like they're making all, like, all these excuses. Well, this, 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 and this. Um, and I, there's a part of this person's energy that does want to run away um, because, and feels bad for it. They feel bad for it. They feel bad that they can't 
step up. They feel bad about it. Okay, why man holding a heart here? Victory, goddess of the moon, okay? Um, there is a victory here though, for whatever that ends up being, okay? It could be a victory in the connection. It could be a personal victory for you. Let's see what this is, Pisces. There is someone here that does feel, they feel, you know, so especially if you're watching this and you're wondering, like, does this person even have, like me, have feelings for me? Why is this person acting this way? This person feels bad that they're acting a little bit wishy-washy, which doesn't make it any better. But um, this person feels bad for it. And they do feel sorry, okay? Past, present, or future. So, you know, whenever you're coming across this video, it can be for you. There's a good outcome here. Let's see what the outcome is, right? It could be a good outcome for the connection. It could also be that you reclaim your power and you have a personal victory. Let's see what this is for you, Pisces. Okay. Um, uh, you are Pisces, okay? So Pisces uh, is a feminine energy. This also could be, uh, like, you could be... Just make the rules fit as it could, okay? Pisces, you may be a man or a woman. This person could be a man or a woman. But I just see someone who's used to being in their masculine energy and is feeling the feminine energy and is just like, I don't know what to do with this. I gotta go, you know? And yeah, that's what this feels like. This person is scared or you're scared that someone's gonna be the one that got away. And there doesn't need to be any fear. Why do we have forgive, divine masculine and kindness and nurturing? Ten of Swords in reverse. Felt almost not in reverse. Why the Ten of Swords in reverse for this? Okay. You're coming out of pain over here. You are increasing your stability. Okay, that's what you've been doing. You've been coming out of the hurt and the pain. Um, yeah, and rebuilding your stability here with the Nine of Pentacles and the Magic card. Okay, creating magic yourself, doing what it is that you need to do. This could be someone from the past. Why the Ten of Swords in reverse for Pisces? Why the Nine of Pentacles? Why the pa uh, Magic card? Someone's contemplating whether they come forward to towards you or not. Okay. Where's Pisces energy in this reading? Nostalgia. This is, yeah, so Pisces, you might be the masculine, like you might be a man or your masculine energy, okay? Because you do have the king of cups here. So a lot of masculine energy, a lot of king. Uh, could be you, could be the other person. Do not attach to gender roles for this reading. King of cups, wisdom, six of cups. Uh, blast from the past, nostalgia. I feel like you're really reflecting on the past. Eight of cups and things that you've walked away from, okay, Pisces? Um, that could be why this person's contemplating coming back towards you. I do think this is someone that you've healed from, someone from the past. Um, you walked away from something here, Pisces, because it wasn't serving you. Um, and it's the energy of someone, though, realizing how much they love you in your absence. And like my chest, just like, you. My chest just tight in Pisces. And, that, and it's like, that's how they feel. Oof. Could be how you feel too, though. Like, I see a lot here, Pisces. You had to heal yourself and rebuild yourself, and this person is contemplating coming back. I do feel like they're sorry. I do. They may be too late. And I'm hearing the song, Let Her Go. You didn't, didn't know you loved her, so you let her go. And you let her go. You know that song where it's like, and you didn't, and he didn't know he loved her till he let her go. And you let her go. That's what I'm getting with this person in the past. They didn't realize that they loved you until you left. They had feelings for you, but they never wanted to feel this that deeply. They were scared of depth. So that's why it could either be a man or it's a woman in the masculine energy because the masculine energy usually is like this. Um, they're scared of depth. And so they ran away the second that they saw depth. Depth scares them. It's not that they don't want to feel. They feel. They're very sensitive. They're in denial of how sensitive they are. This person is in denial of how sensitive they are and how much they love because they're scared of the depths and they're scared of the risk that comes with it. That's what's coming through here. 
And this person has been able to avoid that most of their life by distracting themselves, not fully going deep into connections, this and that, until they kind of met you. And there is someone, as you're rebuilding yourself and regrouping yourself, there is someone who only realized that they loved you when they lost you. They do want forgiveness. They're contemplating coming back. Do I come back to even rebuild something with Pisces? Knight of Cups, there's something coming. There's love all over this reading. But they didn't know that they loved you until they let you go. This person didn't want to face... The, don't, don't we have Kalima? Do we have Kalima on this reading? No, was that the other reading? We did another reading that I had to refilm. But Kalima came out in the reading I was doing before this, which was basically the same thing. Facing fear. This person didn't want to face their fears. And so because they didn't want to face their fears, they lost you. And there seems to be some sort of really big lesson when it comes to facing your fear. And I feel like this is even bigger than this love message here. It's like facing your fears. What if you fall, but what if you fly? And you won't know until you do it. Sometimes it's just simply saying something or doing something or saying yes to something like, wow, that's a great opportunity. I don't even know if I'm ready for it. Like, what if you got your dream job offer? Forget love, right? Forget love for just a moment. We'll come back. What if I, like, what if I, what if you were offered the biggest dream job, job offer yet, but you're like, oh, wait, but like... I don't even have a couch right now. Like, should I really be doing this? Because I don't have a couch right now. And I and I need to fix my car and this and that. Or are you going to just take the opportunity that God gives you and just take it? This is the energy here where someone thought that Someone tried not to think. <laughs> like someone uh, was just really feeling and thinking a lot. And so they kind of retreated. So they kind of took, um, yeah, they retreated or they walked away. And this person is regretting that. Let's see what this is, Pisces. This is a lot of energy. Okay, you've reclaimed your power in the meantime. What's the forgiveness here? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Oh, uh, ooh, not Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it could be Pisces, Ca Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Doesn't have to be. Um, this is all energy. Five of Swords, Five of Wands, Five, Five, Five. There was change that happened in this connection, okay? The forgiveness is that there was a fight that didn't need to be fought. It's like, what are we doing here? What, what are we doing? What are we fighting about? What are we doing? Five of Wands, Five of Swords. Someone trying to one-up the other person. Also, as far as love here, someone wanted to run away. Someone was so scared of being hurt that they ran away first. Someone was so scared of something that whatever they were scared of, they wanted to do first. And then this reaction makes me want to cry. <laughs> because it's so sad it's like it, and we do this in so many ways in life pisces like think of all the ways that people or like that we do this in different ways this particular person is actually such a lover is so sensitive but because of their denial of how sensitive and how loving they are to protect themselves from being hurt they got to one up and who really wins here when you one up Oh, you're going to make me cry today, Pisces, but like actually make me cry, not just like tears in my eyes. Um, Pisces, this connection, they want forgiveness because they didn't know what to do with how they felt about you, so they would have rather run from it. They didn't, they couldn't process how much that they loved you and cared for you because these were feelings and emotions that they weren't necessarily ready to navigate at the moment. They weren't necessarily ready to. They weren't. And so they chose not to. Keyword chose. They chose not to. And so they got the one up on you before you could get the one up on them. One, four, four. Doesn't mean that it's right, but like, and they're realizing that only afterwards. Like, wow, I one upped on Pisces. I one upped on Pisces. Someone who loved me because 
I was afraid of being hurt. They don't realize that they're doing that though. Like in the, when they're doing it to you, Pisces, they don't know that. This is so much feminine energy and someone who operates in mostly masculine that they're just like, mm. all right, they try to distract themselves in different ways. They either did what they thought you were gonna do or they're distracting themselves to the point where they don't feel like they're gonna get hurt. And so because someone was so scared of becoming hurt, they hurt you. But the thing is, Pisces, and I'm giving you this reading because I feel like someone needs to know this today. For some of you, you're blaming yourself. You're blaming yourself for this ending. Like, I could have done this better. I could have done that better. No. This person's subconscious. If I know a lot of people call me a light worker. I am a shadow worker. Uh, I see the subconscious and the unconscious very, very clear. And so I only mention this because I'm seeing this person sub or unconscious. And what you need to know, Pisces, is that this person was putting all these guards up. They may be very successful, and like they seem so successful in this and that, but they're hiding all of their love and sensitivity. They're hiding it from themselves. And they do this by distracting themselves, by just focusing on other areas of their life. I'm successful in this area of my life, this area of my life, and this area of my life. And they've done that for all of their life. Or just, again, distracted. But deep, deep down, they are in denial of what is the truth. And it is that this person is very sensitive and very loving. And in the midst of that, they didn't even know. It's, it's like this person's acting from the unconscious Pisces. And so that's why I'm saying this is because this person didn't even know. This person realizes this afterwards. So if this is happening to you now, Pisces, this person doesn't realize why they did it. They went up to you. No matter how, this seems like a masculine, okay? A masculine energy it could be in a female. So no matter how big and bad someone seems, no matter, no matter how strong or how hard or whatever it is, This person is going to see, they're, they're going to seem strong. But on the inside, this person hurt you because they were so scared of being hurt. Okay? And like, we like to think of, like, you know, these people as the villain and stuff like that. I hope this person heals, too. <laughs> because for you to self-sabotage something so beautiful because you're scared of being hurt... Like, how much do we miss out on life when we self-sabotage those things? And like I said in the other um, video, Kali Ma came out, major spiritual changes are unfolding, facing fear. Think about, like, all the areas of your life, all the things you could have missed out on by just, like, not saying, like, okay, yeah. Like, those life-changing opportunities. Like, say, like, you wanted to go to this event, you're like, yeah, I'm not sure. And then you say yes, and it changes your whole life. You're like... And everything's always happening the way it should. You're perfect exactly where you are. So I, I do focus on soul contracts. If you watch me here on YouTube, yes, I do tarot. I do a lot more than just tarot. But I focus a lot on soul contracts because I do Akashic Records, and that's probably my most... Um, that is probably the session I've held the most, is Akashic Records. It's helped me so much. And I've held a lot of sessions for others. I'm a hundred or more around there. And this, you were meant to learn the lesson from this person. This person was meant to learn the lesson from you. When someone breaks your heart, you agree to learn the lesson with this person. You have the free will to end the contract. You, you, you do you, you got free will, but at the end of the day, every person we come across, no matter how much we would want to fall into victim, don't ever do that. If you're watching me here, I'm not going to let you do that. We're not going to do it together, okay, boo? But you're meant to learn this lesson from this person because you've regained your stability. You are a magical nine of pentacles, stable, beautiful on your own. You, you've been doing your thing, okay? Um, this person, though, also chose you. This person chose you to learn this lesson from too. I feel like 
gonna make another video about soul contracts because there's so much coming out here okay we're gonna get some more tarot but you both chose each other to learn this lesson but it's almost the energy of like them realizing this though after okay what's the person's energy towards pisces they want to come in quick because now they realize it and that's not coming from anger or aggression but sorry. they needed some sunglasses i don't know they needed their eyes checked third eye needed to be checked and cleaned from like i don't know years of not <laughs> um pisces this person wants to come in very quickly okay so for those of you who don't want to take anyone back and again i'm never going to be a tarot, re tarot reader that tries to make a love reading i felt it um this person they're gonna want you they're coming in quick i want pisces i fucked up that's how this person feels nope i want it all with you i understand now and that's what i'm hearing like this person understands now this person understands now also they can't replace you they can replace you they, they can replace you physically they can't replace your energy have fun go try <laughs> don't do that <laughs> um and that's the thing it's like they, they just have tried to distract themselves with karmics you could meet the karmics you could distract yourself with work you could distract yourself with anything you want to distract yourself from but you can't distract yourself from the truth that is within you and this person there's a truth within them that you have activated that's why they chose you because there's a truth within them that you have activated you do have victory here. There's a victory here. I, I do see this person coming back. So for those of you Pisces who are watching and you would take this person back, they're coming back and they want you. This person is coming, they're seeing, and they're conquering. <laughs> um, and for others of you, this is a victory as far as yourself and just understanding why things happen the way that they happened. It's never personal. It was, it's never personal. And this is why that it happened. On a soul contract level, this person awakened things within you, which awoken self-love and self-stability, right? That, that's, it's, this reading is just so interesting. There's so much in here that, you know what? I have to go to the channel members today and do an exclusive reading for this because there's so much more I want to say. And so this person awoke in you. You were meant to awaken this person. Like God sent you the, to this person on purpose. God knew this person would hurt you in some way, shape, or form. God knew that. And you knew that too. But there's nothing that you ever go through that you cannot handle. And so you are going to heal from this. Um, and your unconditional love, kindness, and nurturing. This particular man or male energy masculine energy they were able to get through in life with just like not fully diving deep in like you had the strength and the codes and the energy to awaken this person to a higher truth that is that than they were truly digging into you reveal to this person parts of themselves and the the song that's coming to mind is right through me by Nicki minaj you see right through me you see right through me how do you do that how do you do that you know and that's like the energy that i'm feeling from them okay long story short pisces this person left you it wasn't you it wasn't personal um this person they were in denial about how they felt and they didn't know what to do with what they felt and it's only when they release you that they realize that they love you. Okay? Let's get to the advice here, Pisces. Again, if you would like a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one personal session, 30 minutes to an hour of a personal reading, intuitive channeling, and spiritual coaching, or an Akashic Records, check out the box below. It has everything it is that you will need. A reminder that in the month of November, for 14 weeks, we do have the Temple of the Goddess that is going to be opening for seven different goddesses who are ready to embark and to commit to a change in a transformation this eclipse season by visiting the seven temples of the goddess 
representing a travel through the seven chakras and you will rise as Anana, which she rose as the queen of the universe. So feel free to check that out also on my website or ask any questions. We're going to get right to the advice, Pisces. Divine mother and father, what do we have for Pisces today for this reading? What do we have for Pisces today for this reading? Optimism, aggression. Okay, use your fire wisely. Generosity receiving. Okay, you are definitely going to be receiving over here. Be optimistic. Yeah, be optimistic. You do have humility here too. Selflessness, humility, conscious action, and discipline, armor, and boundaries. Okay, so... transmute and have boundaries that is the advice here pisces is to transmute the energy it is that you need to transmute and have boundaries remain in unconditional love and remain optimistic about the future because there are beautiful things coming in it will require your conscious action yeah you have the sacred self shekinah Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. Okay, Shekinah, the Holy Spirit, Sophia. You're going through a big change right now, Pisces, in all areas of your life, especially spiritually, which everything is spirituality, right? But um, call upon your higher self, okay? You got this. Call upon your higher self, be open and ready to receive and have boundaries. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that this resonates. I'm sending you so much love and so many blessings to your day.